Hey, this is Beth Hodge with Intelligent Technologies. Today I'm going to talk about project accounting in Great Plains Dynamics 2013. In particular, we're going to discuss the feature that a lot of people don't know about in project accounting called retainers. We're used to thinking of retainers as something an attorney will take. It's money paid up front and then it's applied later on to your account. So what we can do in project accounting is we can also take retainers from customers. They can pay us up front and then as they use up their time with us we can charge them and we can apply their retainer in project accounting to their bill and show them where they are and how they're doing with their retainer funds. So we're going to start with that. I have the uh, lesson company set up here. Everybody's familiar with Fabricam. If we look under uh, project, there's a project in here called Hotel Ledger. And this project, I have gone into fees and I have put a retainer, retainer fees, called contract management. If I want to see a little bit more information about that, uh, this is the setup of the retainer fee. And I've put a retainer of $5,000 on here, just like any other fee in Great Plains Project Accounting. You can schedule out when this fee is to be paid to you, when it is due. And then when you run your billing in Project Accounting, as long as this customer and this project are included and the date that the fee is due to you is on or prior to the date you are running bills for, it will pull in and automatically try and charge the customer for this. So I have a retainer set up uh, as being due March 1st, 2017 and the amount of $5,000. I could have split this up $1,000 a month for five months or however I wanted to split it up. I thought for simplicity's sake, we would just look at one $5,000 retainer due to us. So that's a little bit about where it is set up. And I want to note that this is for customer Adam Park 0001. Now you'll notice on here that the on account amount right here is blank. There is no money on account. That is where your paid retainer goes on the project. That's where you can see how much they have on account. I have already posted three timesheets and one expense against this project. I've put on time for a few employees, say they did some consulting work, but what I wanted to show you was how you get that on account amount available so that you can use that against your invoicing to the customer. So let's close up this project and let's go and bill that retainer to the customer. So we'll pretend that it's back in March and I'm going through and I'm doing my billing. Let's get our project page here. So if I go through to do my billing and I'm in the billing entry screen, I can go through and let's say that it's March 5th and I'm doing my billing for the month. And let's put in customer. I could have put a PO number in there for the customer if I had wanted to. And I'm going to put a cutoff date. As long as I have a cutoff date of March 1st or after, I'm going to be fine because if you remember, that retainer was due to be billed on March 1st. So I'm going to go ahead and put today's date. And then the project was Hotel Ledger. And you'll notice that it automatically, when I put that project in there, brought in a $5,000 fee that it's going to bill. And if I look at that fee, it's that contract management retainer that I wanted to put there. Now when I set up the retainer fee, I put this note on it. I just put it on a note that said retainer for upcoming consulting work. And I just wanted to show you that because that will show up on the bill depending on how we have our billing format set. I have mine set to show that. So I can go ahead and save that and I'm ready to bill that to the customer. Let's print it out and take a look at it. I can print the actual 
bill to my screen. I guess in real life you would be printing it out to a printer or better yet sending it via email. I just wanted to show you this particular format that I have set up and how it looks. And it, there's the note that I put on it, retainer for upcoming consulting work, $5,000. Just as any other reports in Great Plains, these bills can be modified to look the way you want them to look. And in Project you have a lot of different choices as to invoice formats. So let's save that. And then we're going to post that retainer. I'm not going to bother to print out any of the resulting reports with that. And I have now posted a retainer bill. I want to show you if you go back and look at the project. You'll notice that the on account amount is still zero. That's because although we have billed that retainer, the customer has not paid us yet. So they do not have a retainer available to them at this point. But now it's a week down the road and my customer is a good payer and they've paid me that retainer. So I'm going to come in here and put a cash receipt in because I just got a check in the mail. And let's say it's about March 15th at this point. And they sent me a check for $5,000. And it was check number 1234. And there's the retainer bill that I sent them. And I'm going to apply it. And you'll notice because I'm using Project, I have this little arrow here next to the apply amount, and I can see where it's being applied if I wanted to. I know, but if you want a little more information, you can use that. And I'm going to save that. And then we're going to post this batch. And I don't need any reports. And now we have a posted cash receipt against that retainer. So if we now go back and we look at our project, now we've got a $5,000 amount on account. So then we'll say it's another week or so later. And my consultants have been out there working at that hotel and they've done some work and they've put in their timesheets, which I've already posted. They've put in an expense and now I wish to bill the customer. So we go into billing. And let's do a bill at the end of the month. And it's for Adam Park. And let's do a cutoff date of the end of the month. When I go in to add the billings into the invoice, I see that I've got my timesheets and my expense all on here. And I can mark to bill them. I could change the amount I'm billing. I could mark them up further if I wanted, but I'm going to let them be the way they are. And so now I have an invoice ready for $1,382.98. However, this customer has already paid me $5,000 worth of retainer money, and I want to apply that retainer to this bill. Now this is important. You have to apply the retainer before you post the invoice. So the way you do that is you go into more information and you come down here to applied retainer and I can see that I've got $5,000 available and my invoice is $1,382.98 and I want to apply the full invoice amount and it shows me that I've got $3,617.02 remaining and I say OK. So now I've applied 1382.98 
And when I look at the invoice, it tells me I've got a total of zero dollars. I'm billing twelve ninety two. I've got tax of ninety dollars, but my billing amount is zero because I've applied that retainer to it. Now, when I print this out, you'll see there are different uh, manners that we can use to look at this. We can look at all sorts of different billing reports. I've set one up right here. All right, so we print our bill out. I'm just going to send it to screen. And it looks like we've got a total bill. It shows what we're billing. It shows me I've got $992 in timesheets. And we've got $300 in expenses. Total applied retainer, $1,382.98. And $0 due. Some people like to modify these invoices to show how much retainer is still available on account. I think that's a nice touch. And also others like to put notes down here about do not pay this amount, but um, those are all very easy modifications that can be done. So that's how you apply retainers. If we go back and we look at the project now, we'll see that we now have $3,617.02 available that we can apply to later bills, invoices to this customer. So that's just a little bit about retainers. I hope that was helpful to you and let us know if we can be of any help with your project accounting needs. Thanks.